Hi, I am uh, Antoine Liard. I'm the mountain bike product manager here at uh, BMC. So today we're going to talk about the whole, uh, whole new four-stroke cross-country racing mountain bike. La première impression que j'ai eue en montant dessus, c'est que je me suis dit, wow, le vélo il est vraiment nerveux, très rigide. Dès qu'on se met en danseuse, le vélo il répond tout de suite. Et puis après, en descente, le fait que l'angle de fourche soit, soit un peu plus ouvert, on est vraiment très à l'aise dès que ça rentre dans le, dans le technique. Et puis le vélo reste vraiment, vraiment, vraiment dynamique. Donc euh, non, non, c'est top. So in this project, we focus really on four different core play fields uh, in order to improve the current bike. The reason we wanted to look into this is that the dropper pose those racers use today are not developed with the cross-country racing in mind. The difference with, uh, with our approach is that, uh, first of all, we integrate it, so we do not have redundancy of components. A dropper pose that you would buy off the shelf would have a tube in a tube that goes in your frame tube, so we eliminated a few of those parts. We went with a, a very innovative shape for the main tube, the sliding element would be not round but oval. Uh, oval is always very uh, strong in one direction and uh, a little bit more flexy in the other direction where we actually don't need uh, strength. The other thing is also provides uh, by this shape the guidance, the guiding system into the frame. We will not use the key locks to keep your uh, saddle in alignment with the frame. So we were able to eliminate a lot of components. So at the end of the integration process, we are able to make a, a seat post that is integrated and that's about 350 grams uh, as a system, which is nearly 100 grams lighter than the lightest product from the aftermarket available today. Et ça fait aussi un peu une part de mystère, quand on voit le vélo comme ça, on ne dirait pas qu'il y a une tige de sel télescopique, donc non, c'est non, c'est vraiment un niveau esthétique, c'est vraiment vraiment super beau, ouais. ça c'est sûr. Uh, we have an integrated 90 mm of saddle height adjustment, which takes place in this area, so uh, basically this is your seat clamp. Yeah, we call the dropper post RAD as uh, an acronym for Racing Application Dropper. Some other things we observed is, uh, together with the dropper post, was to create a bike that has a geometry that allows the rider to attack in the descents rather than just save energy. Cross country has evolved into a way that there is no rest uh, during the whole race. So you would have to attack in the climbs, of course, but you also have to keep speed in the descents. The major shift in geometry that we have done is to, is to really adapt to those new needs, a shorter, a shorter race format and also a, a much more intense effort slash uh, skill set required. We slackened the head tube angle uh, all the way down to 67.5 degrees, which is pretty radical for a cross-country racing bike. Uh, this is numbers we used to see on trail and enduro bikes. This is helping uh, riders to just tackle at a very high speed those uh, rock gardens and steep shoots in the, in the World Cup. Kane says I've been shortened to a, a very, very uh, small number, uh, 429. This was a requirement for uh, the acceleration. We also increased the tire clearance. There is also a trend in going to fatter tires, even at the highest level of racing. Uh, so we decided to increase the tire clearance up to a 58 millimeter tire width uh, measured. The connection between the rear triangle uh, and the BB or the front triangle and the stiffness of the whole assembly is key to the power transfer. So the athlete can put every watt and turn it into Raw speed. Que ce soit une montée sur le goudron du fait qu'il soit, qu soit beaucoup plus nerveux, bah, ça va, va m'avantager. Une montée en racine, bah, le vélo, euh, voilà, j'aurai quasiment plus qu'à pédaler. Euh, en descente, le vélo va plus vite. Ou si on va à la même allure, bah, on fournit moins d'efforts pour, euh, pour descendre. Donc euh, voilà, le vélo, non, non, il va vraiment m'apporter de partout. User friendliness for us means that we're not all World Cup racers and we do not have a professional mechanic at our service every time. So there's a couple of details that we wanted to integrate to this bike. Yeah. We went with the fully guided internal cable routing, which means you feed the cable through here and it will pop up exactly where it's supposed to be. The other thing we wanted to do is uh, protect the frame from, uh, from whatever event. Uh, so you would have, of course, an integrated chainstay protector from the top for the chain, but also the chain suck plate, which is co-molded with the carbon fiber. So you will not lose it. It stays and it will stay. The other thing we wanted to also do is uh, give it a little bit of protection for the top tube. Uh, if you, in the event of a crash, uh, we see many bikes damaged in the area where the handlebar or the shifter uh, crosses the path of the top tube. So basically it's all hidden, but you would have a steering stopper. So if you do this, um, the steering will stop just before uh, anything hits the frame. Uh, you will also notice that the down tube is very straight. Uh, this is a, a very good way by shape to gain stiffness and reduce weight. 
Uh, of course, if we do not do this little kink to clear the fork crown, we have to find a way to protect it from the fork hitting the down tube. So it dubs as, uh, the steering stopper dubs also as, a, as a, a stopper for the crown to hit the down tube. On this bike, we also uh, went with a full APS uh, kinematics, which means that we have a lower link. This lower link can be exposed to uh, projections from the rear tire. So we learned from the previous projects and uh, did a, a small mud flap, designed a small mud flap that is uh, very minimalist, but uh, highly protective in order to keep the mud and debris away from this key area of the frame. Uh, Impact Lab plays uh, always a, a major role in the, in the development phase of any new project. Um, the capacity to produce uh, prototypes for testing in a very, very short amount of time. Prototyping is not only making carbon fiber frames, it's also uh, machining aluminum uh, parts with a very high precision Swiss style in-house so we can, check, we can check functionality, we can check concepts very early in the process. C'est super beau, rien que déjà la tige de sel, comme j'ai dit, on ne voit rien. Donc est, tout est intégré, c'est magnifique. Le cadre, il est, il est un, peu, un peu avec des tubes un peu angulaires. Euh, non, c'est vraiment un, ouais, un, comment dire, un design un peu futuriste. Un peu. Donc non, moi ça me plaît vraiment beaucoup. Ouais. New force rock will be available in three different builds, plus one frame set, which you can see here. Um, this will be available at your local BMC retailer. Uh, please do not hesitate to visit your BMC retailer. Uh, visit bmcswitzerland.com or directly contact us through social media. Thank you. Bye.